A day in the follow-up clinic. After you take your baby home from hospital, your baby's development will be checked in the neonatal follow-up clinic. Every follow-up appointment is important for assessing your baby's growth and development and identifying strengths and possible challenges so that early interventions can begin if needed. The clinic will not replace your baby's doctor. To help you prepare for your follow-up appointments, let's join Jojo and Jojo's family. Jojo was born early at 24 weeks gestation and spent five months in the neonatal intensive care unit. Jojo is now 19 months corrected age. Before going to the clinic, Jojo's parents prepare by one, getting a bag ready with extra diapers, clothes, favorite toys, snacks, and drinks. Two, dressing Jojo in comfortable clothes and shoes that can be easily taken off. Three, bringing Jojo's glasses and hearing aids. It's important to bring all the things that Jojo needs for the assessments. Four, checking that they have Jojo's health card and any reports relevant to Jojo's development. And five, writing down any questions they want answered. Jojo's parents check in at the front desk and are told what is going to happen next. Jojo will be seen by different specialists at the appointment to assess different aspects of Jojo's development. This visit is similar to appointments Jojo has had at the clinic before, but this time it will include the Bailey Scales of Infant and Toddler Development Assessment, which looks at how Jojo thinks, talks, uses hands, and moves around. When Jojo's family meet with the clinician, they catch up on Jojo's progress and discuss what will be happening during the appointment. During this time, Jojo starts to feel comfortable playing with the toys in the room. The parents are asked, what has Jojo learned to do recently? How does Jojo play? And tell us about Jojo's personality and behavior. Jojo's parents are given a questionnaire to fill out. It's to find out more about Jojo's development. During the Bailey assessment, the clinician will be checking Jojo's cognition, how Jojo thinks and solves problems, language, what Jojo understands, how Jojo follows instructions and labels objects, and motor skills, how Jojo walks, climbs stairs, picks up small items, and puts them in a bottle. Halfway through the assessment, Jojo refuses to walk up the stairs. Mom has seen Jojo climb stairs at home and recorded it on her phone, which she shares. Videos are useful for showing children's development at home, especially when they may not feel comfortable in the clinic environment. Jojo's next assessment is with the doctor. Jojo's parents are asked if they have any concerns or questions about Jojo's health, development, hearing, and vision. Jojo's parents look to the list of questions they brought. They share that Jojo is active, does not like to sit and play, and does not use many words. Jojo's a picky eater and doesn't sleep well. The doctor listens to Jojo's chest and checks Jojo's muscles. At the end of the assessment, Jojo's weight and height are measured. Jojo is tired, so the parents give Jojo a drink and snack before Jojo falls asleep. The doctor shares how well Jojo is doing and the areas that Jojo needs a little extra help with. They discuss ways the parents can help with Jojo's eating, sleeping, and play. The doctor also makes referrals to the community to help with Jojo's language and development. After the appointment, Jojo's parents sign the consent forms to make the community referrals. Jojo's parents leave the clinic knowing that Jojo will be receiving more help with development. They also know that they can call the clinic if they have any more questions. If you ever have any questions or concerns about your child's clinic appointments, get in touch with a follow-up clinic who are there to support you or speak to your child's doctor. For more information and helpful resources, visit Canadian Premature Babies Foundation and the Canadian Neonatal Follow-Up Network websites.